Hey everybody, it's me, Ryan. Welcome to Adventures of an RMC Tech. Get it? I was actually thinking about ma naming it that. But we're going to keep it at Adventures of RMC Tech. Be kind of cool though, Adventures of an RMC Tech. Anyway, uh, I got a Toshiba laptop, and uh, here's the thing with this. The custom called and said that they had a virus, they tried to repair the virus. Uh, the virus uh, damaged Windows files, which is very normal. That happens a lot. Um, and uh, and that the, the computer upon startup would give them error messages and that they, they were pretty sure they needed to reformat the machine. Uh, it turns out that uh, there was still some malware on there, which we used some some tools, Combo Fix and others, to get rid of. Uh, and there were some startup entries that were a little bogus that we had to find out where they were so we can get rid of those. Um, and the reason that there were some error messages popping up is because normally with viruses, they have things that run when you start the computer. And if those things are gone, there's still a, uh, a registry entry that is telling those things to run because the viruses plant themselves in the registry and they have these, you know, these registry entries that tell, you know, that execute effectively, you know, the beginning parts of the initiation of the virus so it can proliferate and do its thing and operate and take over your machine in this case. Um, so deleting the registry entry because the viruses are already gone. We deleted all the malware, made sure it was gone, takes care of that problem. So there is no actual uh, you know, problems with the operating system, but rather registry entries that are left over that are calling something that isn't there. So, uh, we repaired it, we checked around, we figured some stuff out. We also realized that there were some uh, file associations that were messed up. So in other words, like uh, executable files wouldn't execute the right way because <clears throat> when, uh, when you go to execute them, you know, they either don't start or they go somewhere else. The, the, the file association, for those of you who know file association, is just messed up and there's a fix to do that. It's a registry fix. You can get it on, you know, Kelly's Corner. There's a lot of, you know, websites out there you can get this on. And, uh, you know, you basically import it into the registry and it fixes that file association problem. So now we're going to boot the computer. <clears throat> Toshiba, leading innovation. I'll expect my check in the mail, Toshiba. And we're going to see where she goes, starting Windows, as usual. Way to go. Wait on you. <laughs> I think Windows 7 is, this is Windows 7 Home Premium. It's a relatively quick startup process. Uh, I've actually never looked at the Chromebook. I've heard a lot of good things about the Chromebook and how, you know, quick the startup process is with the Chromebook. It's going to be pretty cool. I have a, uh, I have a Toshiba. My laptop is a Toshiba satellite, and I have Windows 7 on it. And, uh, you know, my startup is, is rather snappy. Kind of like that. Goes right in. And then, uh, you know, right away, I have nothing starting in startup. So it just, you know, I can just start doing things right away. But here we are in Windows, able to navigate. No problems. Everything looks good. Everything snappy. Everything responds well. So uh, I guess the lesson is, you know, malware does a lot of crazy stuff. You know, it leaves registry entries. It, it pops up these weird error messages. It stops programs from running. You know, on this, on this computer, iTunes wouldn't run. You know, and there was uh, and there was a reason for that. There was registry entries that were de deleted, and as long as you understand the structure of Windows, you know, uh, some of the uh, the underlying functional parts of Windows, and you can make changes to them, and you can you can affect them positively to reverse changes made by you know malicious programs, then you're going to be okay. So that's what happened. We fixed it. We get to bring it back today to the customer on Copley, and we're happy about that. And uh, that is just another adventure gone down in the book of RMC Tech Adventures. Thanks so much for watching. We shall talk to you very soon.